Today on Dad Hut, I'm giving you five new and different ways to play cornhole. Let's go. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to give you five new and different ways that you can play cornhole. The first three are going to be ways that you can maybe make the competition a little bit more fair if you're playing against somebody who's not as good as you or if you just want to challenge yourself. And the last two are going to be ways that you can play against yourself and really challenge yourself. If you haven't already, check out my first cornhole video where I give you five tips to not suck at cornhole. That's a good place to start to just to get your basics and understand the game. And I will link it here and I will link it in the description. So the first game is All or Nothing. And this one is one that I play with my wife or my kids or maybe I play against a friend that's not very good or is just starting out. I'll play where I've got to score 21 points before they score any points. So if they score one point at all, they win. Uh, I've got to get all the way to 21 before they can even get one point. Now you can make this a little different if it's not that much of a difference between you and the other player. You can maybe say I've got to get to 21 before they get to 10 or 21 before they get to 15. It's just a way to maybe make the field and, the, and the, the game a little bit closer against somebody who you're better than. Or if you're playing against somebody that's better than you, then make them get to 21 while you only have to get to, say, 10. All right, game number two is threes only. This is another one where the better player will, can only get points by putting the bags in the hole. Any bags on the board do not count for that player. So this makes it a little bit harder for the player that's better. They always constantly have to go over the bags that are on the board and try to go for those holes because anything on the board obviously is not gonna count for them. Just makes it a little bit more even and then kind of test your skill where you can't just put it on the board to get points. You have gotta go over those boards to put it in the hole. Okay, and the third game to play is called Against All Odds. And that's where you give the odds to the weaker player. They throw six bags, you throw two bags. They throw five bags, you throw three bags. So this is just a way for them to get more bags and you to have less, so less chance of a points for you, just to kind of even it down. And if you really want to test yourself, this is a way that you can do that. You only have two bags to work with and your opponent has six. So you can obviously play with the bags a little bit and you know do with any variation that you want depending on the skill level of each player. But this is a way to even that playing field. Game number four is against yourself and it's called my own worst enemy. And this is where you throw four bags from each side and you're playing against yourself. So there's no better equal competition than yourself. So it also gives you the practice of throwing from each side. So you're not just always playing on the left side of the board or you're playing on your favorite, which is the right side of the board, whatever it might be. So this kind of gets you a little better on each side of the board and you're playing against yourself. So there's no better competition than yourself. Okay, and the fifth way that I recommend that you can play this game is called 24. And that's where you take all eight bags yourself and you throw them and you try to score 24 points. 24 being the most that you can score. If you sunk all eight bags in the hole, you would have 24 points. So this is a way you can test yourself. Maybe your first throw, you're only getting 10. You only get 10 points. And then you throw again and you, you build up to 12 and you get better and better and better. Obviously the best that you can do is 24. And maybe you never reach there. That's okay, every single time you're going, you're trying to beat your personal best. So whether that be in the mid-teens or the low 20s, whatever it is for you, throw all eight bags yourself and add up the points and try to reach that 24, which is a perfect score. All right, so that's it for this week, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that like button, and subscribe below for all future Dad Hut videos. We'll see you on the next one.